Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the split command, which is part of Core Utils on Linux, and uh, describe how it works and show you a few use cases. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, to get started, we're gonna make a file with a bunch of lines in it. Uh, I guess the easiest way to do that is just use seek and put that into a file. Now we have a file with the numbers one to 100. I mean, that might be <laughs> that might be enough information out of the video already. You've already learned something. Anyway. Uh, so we've got a file, and let's say that we want to, I don't know, take this file and split it up into other parts to do some sort of batch processing. Uh, like maybe this is, you know, this isn't big data, but maybe maybe 100 lines is actually, you know, a billion lines or something, and you want to split it up into you know, a million chunks and process each of them in independently. I don't know, something like that. Maybe you're writing your own MapReduce uh, using bash or something silly. Uh, but you might use the split command to do that. And split has a whole bunch of options, but the basic idea is it's going to take its options, it's gonna take a file, and then it's gonna to output to a particular prefix. If you don't specify the prefix, it uses X instead, and if you don't specify the file, it gets standard in. Uh, but other than that, it's basically just gonna do what it says on the tin, splits a file into a bunch of pieces. Now, I recently demoed this in a video where I went over finding test pollution in PyTest by splitting up a list of lines into, um, into particular chunks to find where the bad test was, but we can use this for all sorts of other stuff as well. So by default, it's going to split into a number of chunks by using bytes, So, and that's probably not what you want if you're dealing with text data. It might be what you want if you're dealing with binary data, uh, but let's say we did split dash n5 on our file here. You'll see it's created xaa through xae, and these probably don't split up how we wanted them to. Yeah, like the number 23 got split in half here. That one was fine. This one, not quite fine. There's a random new line here. It's not exactly what we want. Um, so the default mode is probably not helpful for text files. Uh, but you can split it by lines by doing L slash here. And the format for this is kind of weird. They go over it in the docs here so you can kind of see the various ways that you can split up chunks. I usually almost always use this mode here, uh, just because <laughs> it seems to be, you know, that's that's the most reasonable way. Um, oh, I guess you can use R for round robin. Oh, that's kind of neat. So let's, let's try R for this, just because I want to see what it looks like. And now it should, yeah, you can see we've got like every fifth line into each of these files. That's kind of cool. Um, but again, I usually use the L form, and that's probably the most useful form here. So you can see we've got our XA files. We don't have any weird uh, you know, splitting lines in half. You can see that they don't quite all have the same length, but because we uh, you know don't have an evenly divisible number of lines, but it doesn't discard any. It's also good. Uh, what else did I want to show? Oh yeah, uh, say you wanted to split it based on a particular prefix, so you can name your prefix here and it's gonna number with the AA, AB sort of output there. So you can see we have prefix and we also have the old ones. So like those, RM prefix star. There's also different numbering for these outputs. Like by default it uses letters. I think you can also use, yeah, you can use hex suffix and do dash X. We did split dash X. You can see we have a 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. And if we had more than five, let's say we had 20, uh, you'll see that it jumps over to hex digits here to get our, our um, representation there. But that's basically the split command and uh, how you can use it to split files up. Uh, you might also care about putting them back together as well. So let's delete all those and uh, let's not do hex because they won't sort properly. Um, so you have a whole bunch of files here. You can actually just join them back together by using cat. Now you need to make sure they're in the same order. So if we do find uh, dash name prefix star and then sort and then cat, we can get our original file back together. So find the files, make sure they're in the right order and then cat them out. Um, but yeah, that's how you can split and then join back together. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.